It's the day you decide 2012. Over the last year and a half, this young man has covered, get this, a total of 115 campaign events in 13 states. And that's just for this presidential election. This morning, Luke Vargas joins us live via the telephone from his hometown of Boston, where he's on his final day of You Decide 2012. Luke, first of all, good morning to you. You've you got to be a little relieved. You can rest a little bit now, I'm guessing, right? <laughs> a little bit after tomorrow. I'll be getting really trained to go back to school. So uh, from, from one uh, intense season to another one. Right. Now, you're a student at NYU, but you're working with Talk Radio News Service, and uh, we've talked to you a lot over the last year. Now, today, I uh, understand that you're going to be at the Romney headquarters all day. Why did yeah, you choose but, Romney instead of uh, Barack Obama's headquarters? Well, I was posted uh, to be here at the Romney event, okay. but it's also my stomping ground. I, most of those 115 campaign events were in the neighboring state of New Hampshire, which is one of the most contested battlegrounds. So it allows me to easily uh, go between uh, observing uh, voters at the polls in New Hampshire and in, and in Massachusetts, where there's a close Senate race, and then going to see Romney give either a victory speech or a concession speech uh, later on tonight. You you attended the big rally with Kid Rock and uh, mm -hmm. Mitt Romney in Manchester. Uh, I, I heard snippets of that and saw lots of enthusiasm and energy there. Yeah, I was actually surprised. The, the day before that, the governor of New Hampshire joined uh, President Obama and President Clinton uh, in another part of the state, and he was joking, saying, which event would you like to see more? These two presidents were Mitt Romney and Kid Rock. And I was actually surprised. The Romney campaign was able to get about 12,000 people packed into a hockey arena uh, in Manchester last night. Kid Rock, I didn't even realize, is the person who sings the Born Free campaign song for the Romney campaign. And last night, a surprising amount of energy. And the whole sort of Romney campaign, which I think at times has been a little distracted, started to have sort of a cohesive message building around that song. And mm -hmm. Mitt Romney came out on stage and displayed sort of a, a humility and, and sort of an excitement at the, the large crowds there that I haven't seen from him, uh, you know, covering him for so many months. Well, what do you think? I mean, the polls show uh, the two are neck and neck. You've been with the Romney campaign at least the last 24 hours and going to be there today. Do you think they can pull it out? Do they think they can pull it out? I think the Romney campaign is looking at numbers, sort of internal polling. Uh, that shows them actually having a path to victory. The Obama campaign is very vocal. Obama supporters are very vocal about talking about different pollsters who predict a 91% uh, likelihood of victory for Obama. Uh, the Obama campaign also in their messaging has been sort of tying in his campaign with the Clinton presidency, with progressivism at large, whereas Mitt Romney is speaking uh, very immediately. He's saying, be with me just basically from now until later today. He's speaking in, 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 in present terms, and I think that might mean a little bit of late momentum uh, for Mitt Romney in this election, even though Obama last night in Madison, Wisconsin, crying, reminiscing about his right. 2008 campaign. Uh, I think Romney is speaking a little bit more to today's message. We, oh, we're out of time, but I do want to ask you this. You're a college student. You've been following uh, both uh, candidates. Four years ago, we had a surge of young voters voting President Obama into the White House. Who are those same young vo voters going for now, or are they split? Are they still for Obama? Uh, still for Obama. Okay. But I think this election is so fun to cover. Uh, it's confusing to cover, but fun because it all comes down to turnout. I think we not only have the high turnout among young people that was so surprising a few years ago, mm -hmm. but I think we're going to be surprised by Republican turnout. And if, if that's what makes this race close, not uh, confusing lines at the polls and laws. If it's high turnout all across the board, then we're all grateful uh, for this election being as close it is, as it is, and I think it will be a nail biter tonight. Luke Vargas, you got a long day ahead of you. Could be a long night. We thank you for joining us this morning, live from uh, Boston, the Boston area. Luke, thanks, thanks so much. Tom. We'll be right back, folks.